Welcome to this video tutorial where I'm, where I'm going to give you and I'm going to show you how to use the best chat GPT prompts for SEO and content writing that you'll ever need. You can use these prompts when you are writing new content or to update and improve previous content that you already have published, which is a great SEO strategy, keeping your content fresh. Google really likes this. But using this and refreshing some of our clients' contents, we've been able to see pretty significant spikes in both total clicks and impressions of the blog. Of course, there are hundreds of different factors that can attribute to the spiking of total clicks and impressions, but every time we use these prompts, we tend to see significant increase on all of these things. If you don't know me, my name is Nico. I'm an AI powered SEO specialist and I run a free online community, the AI Ranking Hub, where we teach you how to do all these things, how to maximize search engine optimization with the power of artificial intelligent tools, as well as a little bit of automations. And here is where you're going to access all of the prompts that we're gonna go through today. Not only are you going to get the prompts though, in the classroom section, we have the AI Powered SEO Kickstarter, a nice little way to get you started in your AI Powered SEO journey, as well as a little content automation Kickstarter. And when you use these two things together, AI Powered SEO and content automation, it is a brilliant combination to absolutely smash your search engine results page, getting you more traffic to your website, more organic traffic, that'll turn into more sales, more leads, or whatever the purpose of your website is. If you wanna join this, I'll leave a link in the video description below, but we'll get started right away because you're not here for that, you're here for the prompts and how to use them. All the prompts will be in this little tab here, the SEO prompts, and they'll be titled here, and we'll also have a little explanation as to what they do before you jump in and use them. And then the prompt itself, which if you double click, you can copy. The first one, is the content outline generator. More often than not, we sometimes struggle to know even what to write about or how to write about a certain topic. Well, this is why these tools are so good because they kind of take care of the hard work for us and this creates a whole outline that we can use and amend if we're not particularly happy with. And I like this because it gives you a bit of flexibility, which I think is really, really important. I'm going to copy this whole prompt here Go to ChatGPT. I'm using 4.0 for this. You can use 4.0 Mini. You can even use Claude or Meta AI. I'm going to paste the prompt in there and make sure that it's understood what it needs to do. And it seems that it has. Now, this prompt is instructed to do a couple of things. Mostly understand what it is that you want to write about and what style are we writing in. You need to put the other the keyword, the subject or the question that you want to focus your blog around and a type of blog such as a listicle, a how-to, a comparison, or whatever that might be. This instance, I'm just going to write um, how to train a dog and then a how-to. I'm just going to tell it uh, the rest of the information I'll leave up to you. And it's going to provide us with an outline. And you'll see here that with each one of the outlines, it's giving you the approximate word count that that little section should be, the primary keyword that that's gonna start focusing on as well. And even sometimes it's going to give you the suggested image that you should place within that section. And don't worry, one of the next prompts is going to do all of that for us. So we've got a content outline for our blog post, which is great, even with an FAQ section there at the end. And at the end, you'll always see this thing here, which is the YMYL analysis. This stands for your money or your life. And it's a category that Google deems a little bit important because if if you write about this, a subject that either can impact your financial situation or your health situation, then we need to make sure that we do other things like source the information where we're getting it from and all these things. But the prompt is instructed to analyze the overall subject. And if it does fall under this category, it'll tell you what to do. But if it doesn't in this case, it'll tell you, don't worry, it doesn't fall under that, so you don't have to worry about it. Okay, I've got my outline. I'm just gonna copy this whole thing here and place it into a and place it into a Google Doc. Perfect. Okay, so now I've got my outline. I'm pretty happy with that. If you've seen my previous video where we go through on how to write a blog with ChatGPT, you can even use this outline with that with combination with this other prompt here which I'll which I'll showcase a little bit today, but if you wanna learn how to use this, you should watch the other video. I'll leave it linked in the description below. But it essentially turns ChatGPT into a really high quality content copywriter. This prompt isn't mine, by the way. 
it's by stunt spot if you want to check his stuff out i've left a link to the resources to his patreon and discord there but now i've got a content outline for my blog on how to train a dog pretty good perfect the idea here is to give you flexibility. If you don't like some of the outlines, you can change it and make sure you do so if you're not happy with it. Now, moving on to the next prompt, which is the image prompt generator. I really like this one. I'm gonna copy this one here, go back to GPT. I'm gonna start a brand new conversation and paste that prompt in here. This is one of the prompts that you can use to update old content if you want to, which is often a really good strategy if you can't be bothered writing new content, but you need to do something to increase your SEO, this is a good little strategy as well. So now it's telling you to please provide the blog content that you'd like me to analyze and it'll do its thing. I'm just going to use the outline of the blog here and paste it into the conversation that already has the prompt. And it's been instructed to create three different prompts for DALI. Not only that, but it's going to give you the suggested file name and it's going to give you that alt tag for that image, which is an image SEO component that I see that always gets forgotten, but it's something easy to do that might give you that little step up in outranking your competitor because both of those assets really matter when it comes to image SEO, the way the file is named as well as the alt tag. So now I've got one, two, three image prompts. I can tell it because I'm in GPT 402 okay. Now generate image one. It already has the prompt there as well. It understands the dimension. I prefer 16 by nine for my blog post, but you can change the dimension in changing the prompt there as well. And beautiful, I've got a really good image as well. I like it. And I'm just going to go through the prompt itself. A cheerful dog sitting a billion next to its owner. Perfect. And then the old tag is a happy dog sitting next to its owner in the park, illustrating the bond created through dog training. I like that because it's descriptive, but it also has the keyword here in a very natural manner, which is the dog training. And I've got the uh, file name as well that also has the keyword, but in a natural manner. So it's really good. I've got my images now. I like it. Next is the meta description generator. And first of all, let's have a quick look at what is a meta description. If I Google how to train a dog and have a look here, the meta descriptions are these little things here. And they might seem like they're really not important, but they can be incredibly powerful when done correctly. This should be used as a bit of a digital sales pitch to entice people to click to your blog and not your competitors. It doesn't technically affect your SEO, but it does affect your click through rate which is this little data here, the average click-through rate. And by creating a really highly optimized meta description with our little prompt, you will increase that click-through rate, meaning you're gonna get more traffic for the same amount of views that you're getting for the blog. I'm going to copy my prompt here, go back to ChatGPT, just gonna write a, start a brand new conversation. I've pasted that prompt there. And now it's telling me to provide the content of the blog post. I'm just going to, again, use the content outline. There's enough in there to go from with it. And it should give you a couple of variations. It should give you three SEO optimized and click through friendly optimized meta descriptions. And what makes a good meta description? Well, it needs to be between about 140 and 160 characters in length any longer and it just gets cut out. And it needs to have a good call to action. And all these do, start your dog training today, get started with your dog success today, start training today. Perfect, they've all got meta descriptions and I've given you three there so you can pick and choose and see which one you like best. Again, Another thing that you can go and update and improve in your old blogs as well. This is the title tag generator. If we move on to our next prompt, we have the title tag generator as well. So like the other one generated an optimized meta description, this will create an optimized title tag. I'm gonna copy my prompt, go to a new chat. And again, I'm gonna use this outline of my same blog. Uh, yeah, of my same blog. And this time it's gonna give you five different outlines that we can use. And again, if you want to, you can update old blogs, title tags like this as well. 
This is a very powerful one that I use a lot of the times because most of my clients' blogs don't have FAQ sections and we can quickly add it correctly with this prompt here. I'm gonna use an old blog for this. This one here is Understanding Sibling Syndrome in Dogs. And you can see the blog is pretty good, but it doesn't have an FAQ section. So we're gonna fix that. I'm going to copy my blog here, go back to ChatGPT. I'll start a new chat, paste it, make sure that it's understood the assignment. It looks like it has, fantastic. It's primed and ready to write our FAQ section. I'm going to copy this entire thing and just paste the blog in there. So it's given me a five question FAQ section and you'll see in a minute, it'll also give you some code. We'll explain what that is in a second. You can see that it's given you the structured data JSON file for this. And this just helps the search engine understand that you've provided an FAQ section on your blog. You can copy this and insert this as a little injection in your CMS, in your website builder, but a lot of the new website builders do have this automatically if you click and drag the FAQ little square into the bottom of your blog, but a lot of them don't. So this is just ensures that no matter what website builder you have, you can inject the correct code so that Google understands that you have an FAQ section, really good for your SEO as well. Great, now we've got our social media blog post generator. The intention of this is to repurpose your blog for a LinkedIn post, a Facebook post and even an Instagram post by rewriting the blog content into an appropriate post for those platforms, provide a little value in those posts. And then if the reader wants to, is intrigued and wants to read more, they can. But you need to provide value with the posts on those platforms itself, not just say boring things like, hey, read our new blog. It doesn't provide enough incentive. And this prompt does all of that for you. I'm going to go to ChatGPT and test this out together. I've pasted my prompt there and it's going to ask you to please provide the content or the outline. Again, I'm gonna use our same one here and give it the outline. And it should give you two posts for each of the social media platforms. Then you can kind of pick and choose which one you like best. And it tells you here, for example, LinkedIn post one, ready to strengthen your bond with your dog. Training your dog is more than just teaching a command. It's about building trust and creating a lifelong connection. In our ultimate guide, we break down why training your dog is crucial for both you and your dog's well-being. Perfect. Another LinkedIn post, Facebook post, and two Instagram posts that it's creating. I've sorted out my social media content as well. Nice. And for the images you might be asking, well, we've just generated images with Dali. You're more than welcome to use those as well. And then our final prompt, but definitely not the least, is the competitor content analysis generator. This is going to help you understand why your competitor or another blog post is ranking higher than you. Now, there are a lot of many other factors that it won't tell you, but at least from an on-site perspective, the actual blog content, it'll give you a really good analysis and give you a great starting point with actionable recommendations and what you can do to outrank them. So I'm going to copy this prompt. Whilst what I said might sound a little confusing, it'll make sense in a second. I've pasted prompt and it's going to tell you to give you the content itself. So if we look here in how to train your dog, the top organic ranking one is this, or that's number two, but that's good enough as well. I want to understand it. I'm going to go down and you can see that this one has an FAQ section. Maybe that's why it's ranking really well, who knows? I'm going to go back to ChatGPT, place the blog post in there. Now, whilst we're using this, you need to understand that this isn't going to tell you exactly why that blog post is ranking really well. There are a million different things that are contri contributing to why that blog post is ranking really well, such as the overall domain authority, how quickly that website is loading, what's the backlinking to it like, how long has that blog post been around for, and a hundred other things. This is just from a content perspective only. So it tells you the content quality and the depth, the keyword optimization usage, user engagement factors, the on-page elements, and then it tells you the content gap 
identification. This is the golden nugget bit because it tells you whilst it touched on a couple of things, it didn't touch on these things and that's what you can write about. So you're not just regurgitating the same content that a competitor did, but you're adding more value because you are filling the gaps that they missed out. That's what you want. That's really interesting stuff. Then you've got the actionable recommendations as well, which is really important. Again, I've placed the disclaimer at the bottom here that this analysis only focuses on on-page elements. There's a lot of different factors that are contributing to the overall SEO of that blog that's ranking really well. And that, my friends, is it. If you want to dive in deeper into really learning how to optimize AI to be able to rank your website number one and increase your SEO, I suggest you join our online community. You're not only going to get the free prompts that we just discussed. There's a Sparkle copywriter prompt, which is incredibly good to turn your GPT into a really good content copywriter. There's a lot more things there for you in Kickstarter with AI powered SEO, how to do content automation, how to get started. And we even do live webinars once a month, which we're going to start very soon. So I suggest you start there. Again, if you found value in this video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little like and a subscribe, that'd be fantastic. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers.